Welcome back to Briarwood Kids Ask. My name is Dan Buck. I am the director of lower school at the Briarwood School in Houston, Texas. It is my pleasure to have NHL hockey player Brent Sopel and Maddie, a fifth grade student at our school. Maddie has some questions for Mr. Sopel. Uh, if you don't know, Brent Sopel is a Canadian professional ice hockey defenseman. He was drafted 144th overall by the Vancouver Canucks in 1995 and began his NHL career in 1997. Sobel played for various teams during his career, including the Vancouver Canucks, New York Islanders, Chicago Blackhawks, where he won the Stanley Cup in 2010, Atlanta Thrashers, and Montreal Canadiens. He and his wife have two sons and two daughters. One of them has been diagnosed with dyslexia and dysgraphia, conditions that Sobel also shares. Throughout his career, Sobel received awards, including being named NHL Player of the Week in 2002. He eventually transitioned to the Continental Hockey League and played for Metallurg, Nova Kuznetsk, his yeah, foundation. Hi. Thanks. The Brent Civil Foundation is dedicated to providing financial and educational assistance to help students with dyslexia fulfill their potential through early detection and intervention. It's my pleasure to say hello to both of you. And I'm going to move the camera and you can ask your questions, Maddie. Okay. All right. Did having dyslexia interfere with your ability to play hockey? Um, no, it didn't. I didn't find out I was dyslexic till my hockey career was almost over. I didn't find out till I was 32 years old that I had dyslexia. Uh, wait, so did you find out when you were a kid? No, I, I didn't find out till I was an adult, till I was 32 years old. So way past school, I was already a father, I already had kids. So I didn't find out till just, just recently. Mm -hmm. What was the biggest challenge in hockey? you have overcome with dyslexia? Um, probably the biggest part was, uh, you know, just understanding where to go and where to be. Um, obviously being dyslexic, we see things a little bit differently. Um, and we understand things a little bit differently. So it was, it was always where to go and where, where to be. Uh, where there, what? Uh -huh. yeah, sure. Were there times? Were there times when dyslexia helped you look back at your life? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yo, um, dyslexia made me the person I am today. Yes, I struggle at reading, um, math and writing, but I'm good at other things. So, you know, um, I am who I am because of my dyslexia. Wait, did anybody um, make fun of your dyslexia? Um, yes, I was called uh, dumb, stupid, lazy for uh, all my years going to school. Yep. Yeah. Was it hard for you to write in school or hockey camps? It was, yeah, it was always hard for me to read or write. Um, that's why I liked hockey so much is because when I was on the ice, I didn't have to read or write. Did you think it was like a free time when you were in hockey? Yeah, it was my favorite time. It was like recess or or, or gym. Um, I, as long as I didn't have to go to school and sit in a desk and you know write or read, then I was happy. Do you think girls have harder times with dyslexia than boys? No, I don't, I don't think so. I think the problem with dyslexia is that not enough people understand it. So both girls and boys um, are going to struggle because of most of the people around us don't understand it. Wait, but did you, was there like a special class in your school you had? No, um, not, you know, I went, I grew up in Canada. Um, there wasn't a, uh, wasn't a special class. I was, you know, in, in classes with everybody. Again, I didn't find out until I was 32 years old. Um, does your, daughter faced the same challenges as you did or did do you think different because she's a girl no she um she got diagnosed uh when she was in kindergarten so um did she face challenges absolutely yo does she face different challenges because she's a girl and i was a boy absolutely but she found out early with her dyslexia, so um, it helped finding out earlier for her than it did for me. What advice would you give young hockey players 
trying to do well in school and hockey? Oh, school is the most important thing because hockey always ends. So make sure you uh, you'll focus on your school first. And when you go to play hockey, make sure you have lots of fun. Uh, yeah. Did you ever try for like um a uh, uh, NHL team or like select team? Yeah, I played played for in the NHL for many many years. I played for like seven different teams, I think. Do you think having dyslexia made you better at hockey in some ways? Absolutely, yes, for sure it did. Um, dyslexia made me work harder than anybody. Um, maybe be able to see the uh, the ice uh, in different ways that other players did. Mm -hmm. I got some of the questions. You got the questions? Okay. Any other questions either of you might have? Good job, man. You did a great job. Yeah. What else job do you have? Do you have a job? I'm a coach hockey. I'm a foundation, maybe? I, got, I, I coach 150 kids. Yeah. You know, I got uh, my foundation. So with dyslexia, uh, learning disorders, and I also coach hockey. I'm sitting actually at the rink right now. Mm -mm. And you're based in Chicago? Did I say that right online? Yes. Yeah, just outside the suburbs, just outside of Chicago. Yep. Wait, so you're still a hockey coach? Yes, I am. You go to tournaments? I do. I'm supposed to go to a tournament in a couple of weeks. Hmm. Cool. You did a great job, Maddie. Yeah, you did awesome. Good job. Questions, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Sopel. Thank you very much, Maddie. Um, we hope to see our audience next time. And we hope everyone learned a little bit more about dyslexia. And we're just very grateful for your time. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Good job, Maddie.